Next, we're gonna take you through the actual instructions of how to make the turns, which we do have them actually written and listed on the top of our instruction sheet here. So the very first one, you're gonna have the child recline back on his or her back in a comfortable position with adequate lighting. So whether that's the couch in the living room, pillow in the bedroom, head back on the kitchen table, anywhere that's most comfortable and has good lighting. You want to have the child open as wide as they can while tilting their head back so their chin's up towards the ceiling. It's going to help give you a better view to place the key. You will then place the expander key in the hole facing forward and you want to ensure that the key is fully seated. You will then slowly turn the key going towards the back of the patient's throat with light pressure to make sure that it doesn't accidentally slip out of the hole. After the key is turned as far as you can, you want to slowly remove the key with a slight movement towards the back of the throat to take it out. And you just want to check to make sure that that next keyhole is in front and ready for the next turn to come. So next, I'm going to show you an actual demonstration of how those turns are made. Everyone is given a special key here to make the turns. Now this key is kind of bent here in the middle. So the key itself is only going to go in about a few millimeters or so. When the patient is laying back, the key here, there is a flat part and a curved part. This flat part here, you want to make sure that the flat part is facing the roof of the mouth. I'm going to have my key sideways just so you could see a better visual. But if you guys could see the little hole on the wheel here in the middle of the expander, that is where the key is going to be placed. Now that hole is on a wheel, so sometimes people will try to go straight in at the hole, but you have to kind of curve the key to fit into it. And once it's dropped in all the way, you want to make sure that the handle of the key, my apologies, you want to make sure that the handle of the key is facing up towards the ceiling and then you're going to let the key itself do all the work. So you're not going to move the handle per se, but you're going to push the handle going towards the back of the throat, letting the key pivot while making the turn, and then just gently pulling that key straight down and out, leaving that next hole in the front for the next turn that'll come. With the expander, sometimes the rings that are around the teeth, that is where most of the rubbing on the cheeks can occur. So if needed, everyone gets a package of wax. Wax is used like Play-Doh or putty. So if any irritation occurs from those rings, you can place the wax on them to create a soft barrier until the patient is then comfortable.